Welcome back to Infigyan friends. Today in this video we are going to take up one very very interesting exponential equation. It is x square plus 5x plus 5 raised to the power x cube minus 3x plus 2 equal to 1. We have to find out real solutions only. I will demonstrate two different methods to solve this problem. Method number 1 using a power b equal to 1 form and method number 2 using log. So let's get started by writing over there method number 1. I will demonstrate three cases here how we can write RHS 1. First way of writing RHS 1 if our base is 1 and power is a where a belongs to real number. This is our first way to attempt this problem. Base will be a and we have to check power should be real. Second case, if power is 0 and b should not be equal to 0, restriction is there. And third case, from which we will get RHS 1, it would be equal to base is negative 1 and power is even. k belongs to integer. Minus 1 raised to even power, always we will get 1. So these three cases, I will collect our solution set for the given exponential equation. So let me begin with first case, 1 raised to the power a. Then second case, we will consider b raised to the power 0. And our third case would be minus 1 raised to the power 2k, where k belongs to integer. So let me consider method 1, case first. 1 raised to the power a. So I am considering x square plus 5x plus 5 base equal to 1 and power should be real. So power is x cube minus 3x plus 2. This should belong to real number always. So let us solve this equation quadratic first. x square plus 5x take 1 to the left plus 4 equal to 0. Now I can use factorization method. I can consider plus 4x plus x plus 4 equal to 0. Take x common, x plus 4. Take 1 common, x plus 4. So factorization is done. Once we will take x plus 4 common. x plus 1 times x plus 4 equal to 0. So from here we will be having minus 1 and 4. Negative 4. Now I will check negative 1 and negative 4 whether they are providing us real solution or not. So let me put x is equal to negative 1 here. So once I will be putting minus 1, it will give us minus 1 cube minus 3 times minus 1 plus 2. So this will be minus 1 plus 3 plus 2. 3 plus 2, 5 minus 1, 4, which is real number. So it is true solution. Now let's consider second solution. So minus 4 if I will be putting, I am writing directly minus 64 plus 12 plus 2. So it is 14 minus 64. So it will be minus 50 and which is real number. So this is also true. So case 1, case 1 is providing us two solutions. X is equal to negative 1 and negative 4. Now case 2 will be taking b power 0 where b is non-zero. So let me write here case 2 b power 0 where b is non-zero value. So let's consider x square plus 5x plus 5. This should not be equal to 0 and we are presuming our power should be 0 plus 2 equal to 0. Now we have to solve this cubic equation. So I will write minus 3x as minus 4x plus x plus 2 equal to 0. I will take x common in bracket x square minus 4 1 common in bracket x plus 2 equal to 0. We can write x, difference of 2 squares, 4 is 2 square, so x plus 2, x minus 2, 
प्लस वन टाइम्स एक्स प्लस टू इक्वल टू जीरो एक्स प्लस टू इज ओवरऑल कॉमन इन ब्रैकेट विल बी हैविंग एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस टू एक्स प्लस वन एंड इफ यू विल चेक इट इज एक्स प्लस टू इन वन ब्रैकेट एंड सेकेंड ब्रैकेट इट इज एक्स माइनस वन होल स्क्वायर so values of x from this cubic equation minus 2 1 and 1 now we have to only make sure that these solutions won't provide us x square plus 5x plus 5 equal to 0 so i will be checking for one by one value let me consider x is equal to minus 2 first so it will be minus 2 square plus 5 times minus 2 Plus five. So this is four minus ten plus five, which is equal to negative one, and which is not equal to zero. That means minus two is true. Now let's consider second value. It is x equal to one. So one is square plus five times one plus five. All three numbers are positive, so we'll be having non-zero value. Let me write five plus five is ten plus one eleven, which is non-zero. So this is also true. So from this case, I am getting two solutions, one and negative two. Now I will consider case three. So we will consider minus one raised to the power even, even number where k belongs to integer. This is what we will consider one. This one as Minus one raised to the power e one, then we will be having R H S one. So let me consider our base equal to minus one. So let me write here case three, base equal to minus one, and we will check for power e one. X square minus three x plus two for e one value, including zero also. So let me solve this. Quadratic first, so I will be writing x square plus 5x plus 6 equal to zero. Now I will write factorization method. I will write 5x as 3x plus 2x. If you will take the product, it will be 6x square. So it is true. I will take x common. X plus 3 will be there in the bracket. After taking 2, x plus 3 same bracket. Taking x plus three overall common, so we'll be having x plus two times x plus three equal to zero. So x will be equal to minus two and minus three. Now only we have to make sure whether this minus two and minus three it is providing this exponent even. So let us check for x is equal to minus two. So I'll be writing minus two whole cube for this cubic equation. It should be even. So minus two whole cube minus three times minus two plus two. So it is minus eight plus six plus two. And if this value is zero, which is even, power zero, so right hand side will be true one. So this is true value. Now let's consider the second one minus three. This is done. Now check for minus three. I will write minus three whole cube minus three times minus three plus two. So this is minus twenty seven plus nine plus two. And if you will check, this will give us minus sixteen minus twenty seven plus eleven. So minus sixteen, which is even negative power. Okay. So this is also in even category. K equal to zero. Now, from here we will write our solution set that is minus two and minus three. So overall solution, if you will check, it is plus minus one, minus two, minus three, and minus four. So let me write here the overall solutions: x equal to plus minus one, minus two, minus three, and minus four. Now method number two. method number 2 is using log let us consider log both sides so i will be writing 
log x square plus 5x plus 5 raised to the power x cube minus 3x plus 2 equal to log 1. Now using property of log this exponent this power will come as a coefficient or multiplier. So I will write x cube minus 3x plus 2 and then log x square and if I want to find out all the solution then it should be mod of log or log of mod function. So log mod x square plus 5x plus 5 equal to log 1 is 0. Now f dot g equal to 0. So we will write here two equations. First one is x cube minus 3x plus 2 equal to 0. And second equation which I will write log of mod x square plus 5x plus 5 equal to 0. Now let's solve both the equations one by one. So for this cubic equation, I will do the same steps as I shown in method number 1. So I will be writing a straight away factors x minus 1 whole square and then it was x plus 2 equal to 0. So from here we will be having 1, 1, minus 2. Now come to the second equation. So I will be writing here mod of x square plus 5x plus 5. plus 5 equal to 10 raised to the power 0. So value will be 1. So I can consider right hand side this value plus 1 can be written as plus minus 1. Now we have to solve these two quadratic equations one with plus sign another with minus sign. So let me write here x square plus 5x plus 5 equal to plus 1 and x square plus 5x plus 5 equal to minus 1. So I will frame here one quadratic equation x square plus 5x plus 4 equal to 0 and second quadratic equation x square plus 5x plus 6 equal to 0. Now I will use factorization method. So it is same which we have done earlier also. 4x plus 4 plus 4 equal to 0. Taking x common x plus 4 taking 1 common x plus 4. x plus 4 is overall common. So we will be having x plus 1 times x plus 4. From here we are having minus 1 and minus 4. Come to the second quadratic equation. We can split 3x plus 2x or 2x plus 3x plus 6 equal to 0. Taking x common from first two, x plus 2. Taking 3 common from last two, x plus 2 equal to 0. So x plus 2 overall common times x plus 3 equal to 0. So from here we are having minus 2 and minus 3. Now you can see so from log equation we are having four solutions minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 and from cubic equation there were two solutions one with monocity 2 with minus 2. So 1 and minus 2 so overall solution would be plus minus 1 and then minus 2 minus 3 minus 4. Let's verify few solutions so I am writing verification. Let me put x is equal to 1. If I am putting x is equal to 1, then it would be 1 plus 5 plus 5. So 11 raised to the power 1 plus, let me write here 1 minus 3 plus 2. So power is 0. 11 power 0, so 1. True. x equal to minus 1. So I will write 1 plus 5, 6 minus 5. So 1, 1 raised to the power, minus 1 if you will put, power is minus 1, plus 3, plus 2. So 1 raised to the power, 4, it would be always 1. This is also true. 
x is equal to minus 2. So it will become 4 minus 10 plus 5. Whole power minus 8 plus 6 plus 2. Now you can see base is minus 1 raised to the power 6 plus 2 8 minus 8 0. So value will be 1. True x equal to minus 3. So I will write 9 minus 15 plus 5 raised to the power minus 3 cube minus 27 plus 9 plus 2. Now you can see base is negative 1. 14 minus 15 negative 1 and power is take away 27 from 11. So it would be minus 16. So this value will be even power. So value will be 1. So that means this is also true. You can check x is equal to minus 4 in the same way. I hope this video will be meaningful to you. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck and take care of yourself.